It seemed a simple thing. The metal freak Cross 360, an island, right? They could see from the shore. Ah, but nothing is simple when death walks the sun. They soon realized their only hope of crossing lay in appeasing the whims of three weird systems. Thanks, Mackie. Okay, so quick heads up for anyone that hasn't been watching this. This game is Bard's Tale 4. This game is awesome. It's a very unique kind of throwback game that was released uh, just a few weeks ago. It's It's been great. We have about 30, 25, 30 hours in it so far. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. Where we are right now in the story is we just came to this island. We're looking to get to a tomb to find a reliquary for a leech. A lich. And uh, what we've done so far is we got to this island. We helped find out that one of the lead priests of this area basically like cursed the whole island and people are dying all over the place. And now what we're trying to do is get across the bay to there. So uh, all we've done is come down here to this area and now we get to look around here and what we're doing now. It's awesome. Hey, Helen. Thank you, Mortex. I appreciate it, man. Uh, the fact that I had some options at the beginning. Let me make sure my... Yeah, it's going to say. Here we go. Boop. Great. Uh, overall quality. Let's do ultra. Apparently my settings got lost at some point. Maybe uh, maybe one of the patches did it. Uh, everything else looks good. Oh, it's so much better. There we go. Hey, Irvatar. What's up, man? Wow, this almost looks a little fish-eyed. I think they actually increased the FOV setting. Let's try it on, like, 80. Oh, much better. Cool. Also, I think I have some kind of motion blur on. Boop! Ah, so much better. What's up, dude? You will not have me. I will take my own life. Tamu! I will break my bones so they are useless to you. Ah. Jesus. Also, ah. Uh. Um. Gem Slate and Night Raven, thank you so much for the cheers. And then Temu with a 10 gift bomb. Thank you for that, Temu. Okay, we gotta talk to these people in the house, but we're gonna save that. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your support today, dude. Hey, QC Finest. This area is really cool. Oh. More experience. Hmm. One Punch Max says no Pathfinder today. Oh, no, no, no. No, we'll definitely be playing Pathfinder today. We're going to play it probably starting around 11 or 12. Yeah. We're up to a very big part in Pathfinder, so. Yeah, I'm. Very much looking forward to returning to that today. Where does this go? I just also really love this game and wanted to keep playing it too. Oh, here we go. Some coins. Nice. All sorts of goodies back there. We good. Is Pathfinder worth getting it, or should I wait longer for more patches? Um, I'd say Pathfinder's probably worth it if you're going to be playing it slowly. If you're playing a few hours a day, I'd say Pathfinder's probably worth it, because by the time you get to the endgame stuff, it'll probably be patched. Um, but if you're somebody that's like me, and you put, you know, like, 6 to 12 plus hours in a game a day, you may want to give it some more time to fix up the later acts. Yeah. But that being said, they are working on it. 
and I hope that at some point this year I can, like, strongly, strongly recommend it. That's the hope, at least. Man, this area is beautiful. I like this ice. How cool. Also, the music is so good here. Well, the music's good everywhere in this game. Didn't we discover something we could do with these? Maybe not. Hmm. Let's see what's in this lighthouse. Helen says, grats for the five-year street completion. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Appreciate it. Boop. Oh, the, I think that's the third crypt key for us. We need to see what's in that crypt. I think there's a little puzzle for us to solve. Is this north of the wall? Sure. Yeah, why not? What is this game called? I've never heard of it. This is Bard's Tale 4. It's actually a, a relatively new game, only a few weeks old from In Exile. Uh, it is it is an awesome, awesome kind of puzzle RPG throwback game. It's uh, yeah, it's it's pretty freaking great. I've been having a great time with it so far. Need something? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like a month old. Yeah. Is this the new patch for Pathfinder? Not exactly. No. No, it's not. Let's see what's on these docks real quick. I see some pebbles. They didn't make it. Okay, the, this is a challenging fight, but I can't do it yet. Okay, maybe this we'll do this. This would be a challenge. Yeah, it would, but I guess we're going to do that later. The voices are a bit quiet compared to the music. Um, I can turn the music down a little bit and turn the sound up. Only a little bit, though, because music's really good. Put it like there. Okay, there we go. Raise the overall sound by a couple decibels and lower the music. Hopefully that'll help. Keep me posted. Thanks, Aldwan. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Morchell, I have watched all of what's available on YouTube for Bard's Tale 4 and just tuned in. How much did I miss? Five minutes. <laughs> You're good. All we've done is we checked this area out a little bit. Uh, I just got the third key to the crypt, so we're going to go look at that, and then I think we're going to come back down here. And uh, looks like we're going to... Oh, that's right. That's the elevator. It looks like we're going to uh, talk to the people in these houses, which will hopefully give us a way to get across the water to that island, which is our goal. But first, I want to see what's in this crypt, because we've gotten three different keys now, and I think that's all we need to get in. How am I going to detox after all the CRPG bonanza? Dude, I know. I think I'm just going to keep it up. I think I'm going to have a CRPG in my back pocket for the foreseeable future. So right now it's Pathfinder, and then after Pathfinder, we may finish up PoE, and then after PoE, maybe Wasteland 2, and then maybe Wasteland 2, we'll go to, like, Arcanum, and then maybe Neverwinter Nights 2 after that. I don't know. I've decided I want to play a, mag a magic character in my Arcanum playthrough. Almost every time I've played Arcanum, I've been tech. So I think we're going to do a magic run this time. And that makes me randy, just thinking about it, so. Good, key number two. Crypt key number three. Yeah. Ooh. What are you? Mage weave arc mage hood. Mm hmm. Nice upgrade. Boop. Beautiful. All right, let's go back down. Am I done with Pathfinder? Oh no no no. We'll be going back in the afternoon. When is the new Wasteland? Uh, Wasteland three is next year, I think. Right? Next year. Happy five years, says uh, Sopa. Thanks, man. 
Shadow Freak 360 says, if I remember correctly, wasn't playing a mage in Arcanum some of the hardest things you could do, at least in the early stages? Uh, Metal Freak, if you don't know how to play Arcanum, then it can be. But um, I I have a pretty good idea how to play it. So I think we'll get like a couple ranks in melee early, and we'll grab like harm and minor healing. So I think I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll see though. All right, here we go. That's my boy. Oh, hello. What is it that you want? You want to go to the rookery? Oh, you're mad. It's haunted. It's haunted. Away oh, with ye. Okay, well, you weren't much help. Oh, what's this one? Cliffs above, sand below. Waves crash, winds blow. One second. Everything for this. Okay, this is in... Where are we right now? Isle of Skellige, I think it's called, or something. Um, and this one is... Cliffs above, sand below, waves crash... Nope, not windows. Just blow. Okay. Cool. Great. Yeah, I keep a to-do list with this game. Weekend Slice says, Ko, you look healthier, younger, and happier now than when you started on Twitch. Congrats on the five years. Here's to 50 more. Best vibes to you and your entire family. Well, thank you, Weekend Slice. That's super nice of you to say, man. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta say, it's crazy to think that five years ago... I'm not, I wasn't in this house, wasn't like where we are here, didn't have a kid, uh, Lena was still working, um, it's crazy, it's crazy, got another kid on the way, like, if you would have told me five years ago that I'd be right here where I am now, I would not have believed you, I would not have believed you, <laughs> I would be like, that's bullshit, you're kidding, no, <laughs> so it's kind of awesome, yeah, I'm, it's, it's pretty great. All right, here we go. Hi. Roll you to the rookery. Not for all the gold and case. I think there's only two people we can talk to. So loony. So I've no... Did we hear you right, strangers? Oh. Do you want to go to the rookery? Yes. We can help you. Okay. We will bring you right to its shores. Okay. All we ask is that you help us first. Okay. It is a small matter. But it means much to us. Are you willing? A thief in wire stole our fur coats. What a jerk! And our mother would be furious if we returned home without them. Okay. Retrieve them for us. And the rookery will be within your reach. Man, we will help you. Thank you, strangers. Here is where... You will find the thieves. See you again. When you have our coats. Creepy. That's creepy. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Oh, there we are. Oh, it's the fight on the dock. Cool. Perfect. Do 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 do. <laughs> Trot guy. Rude. Mark video. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. The only reason Ko looks younger is that Car uh, Barry has been perfecting the AI visuals for so long. Five years ago, Ko was rendered in 240p with a basic UI. Now Barry has upgraded the program to 4K. True story, can't confirm. Yeah, I am just a face rig. So, can confirm. Ko bless. Thank you. You're not our brides. Our, our, excuse me? What do you want? We're waiting for our wives. Get out of here. We've been asked to retrieve three fur coats. Hand them over. We told them seducers they could have their coats back if they married us. <laughs> and not before. <laughs> we'll not give them up for anything. I, I don't think that's how marriage works. Well, I'd take ten gold skiat, actually. <laughs> or or marriage. So now that you mention it, 
Horst's other friend. That is a fair amount of coin. Fine. You can have the coats for ten ski at each, or you can try and take them from us. What'll it be? Oh, that's easy. We don't pay thieves. Bad decision, mugs. The last one you make. I had to get used to the combat again, so this is perfect. One punch, Mac. Thank you so much, man. With the 11 months, dude. Lunch. That'll be the last drink you ever have. Yeah? All right. Let's get started. Get him, lads. You know what they say. Only the brave deserve the fear. Cheers. Cheers. Boop. Boopy do. Pardon? And we'll That's save that good. for next turn, actually. Hang on. Uh, for you, let's go ahead and do a trial speed. Cheers. Drink on the meat bag. That's gonna make it so everyone takes more damage when they're hit. Weak. Then Tell we're gonna go down to Command you, me. who is fully charged up, and we're gonna zap him. Yeah. You will get them next turn. Ready. For you, we're going to taunt. Actually, we don't need to taunt yet. We'll just sunder this guy. <laughs> which will also trigger Paul's steals. We're also going to get Let's a Let's do something! With him, we're going to attack him. <laughs> and we're going to move up. Coming through! Use this and hopefully go for a crit. Oh. Great. Then we're going to strop. Watch it! Then Stop this back. guy is going to move over here oh. and do rain of arrows on them and then drop himself stop them Boop. you don't know who you're messing with stand aside over there Okay. That's their coats. Nice. Thank you. Can you make the music louder and the combat noises a little bit more quiet? Sure. Let's try that. I also lowered the overall volume, so that should help too. Oh, Laurenthal, that's too bad. I think I've got like 10 plus hours to go, if, if not more. Yeah. Happy stream anniversary. Thanks, bud. Welcome, strangers. Thank you for returning our coats. We are most grateful. There is an old tale of the Einar. That says that the rookery is nothing but a great barnacle. Growing on the back of a giant fiddler crab. Whoa. They say the crab has sat at the bottom of the sound. For a thousand years, pining for a mate. But one day, it will finally hear her love call. And move at last. That day is today. Take this to the broken bridge in wire. Fix it to the conch. And blow. The fiddler will come. The rest is up to you. Oh my. Okay. And thank you for our call.
Oh, oh, okay. Um, I think we have to go up there now. Cool. <laughs> Moro Soul, thanks for the bombs, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Vala, how you doing this morning? Hey, Midnight. Meek, this is true. This is true. How you doing today, Meek? Archangel, I don't see any co-subs. I haven't seen any subs here all day. Not a single one. Oh, I should have saved it. I can save it in town. Thank you, Horse79. Appreciate that, bud. Hey, Shadow. Lurk. Lurk, lurk. Is this the newest Morrowind? It wishes. Or Morrowind wishes this was the new Morrowind. That's what I should say. This, this game is actually very similar to Morrowind, except it's a little bit more contained in mechanics, has many more puzzles, and is a little bit more linear. But... Funny enough, there there are a lot of similarities. Like it, it, it is kind of a it's an open world first person RPG, very similar in that regard. Yeah. But what's really cool about this game is this game is is very. A lot of games that come out these days don't really have. Come in, well, I can get a shot at you, you bone yard. Um, a lot of games these days are a little bit kind of surface level. Like they they don't really. Uh, that's a good way to say it. They just try to kind of deliver a story and then just kind of go from there. And one thing that I really love about this game is the care that they put into the world. So like the, the music and the lore and the voice acting and most importantly, like the puzzles and the, the design of the world. And um, it's very unique in terms of the quality that it delivers in terms of just the content, which is really nice. It's super immersive, um, which is one of the reasons I'm back playing it because I've been having such a good time with it. Casey Happy, thank you for the $50 tip, my friend. I really appreciate it. Coffee cheers to you, my dude. Tink. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. And Mawago, thank you for that 400 cheer as well. Awesome, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Also, I just noticed that gift bomb from Moro was for epic subs. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Crazy. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be playing Pathfinder this afternoon. Yeah. I just really wanted to get back to this game. So... Dude, he gifted two tier five subs, or tier three subs, and now he gifted five tier two subs. Damn, dude. Thank you, man. No Assassin's Creed? No, I just have games that are more fun to me to play right now. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, like, the new Assassin's Creed is cool, but in terms of what I enjoy playing, I would put this game and Pathfinder on a completely different level than Assassin's Creed. But that's just my personal preference. That doesn't necessarily mean, like, the games are so much better, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just personal preference. I would always rather play an RPG over, like, an action story game. Um, just how I am. Blow the horn. No levels, but it's a lot of speech. I'm going to be playing the new Witcher game when it came out? Sure am. Yep. I'm actually very excited for Thronebreaker. Ooh, look at this place. Nice. It's a well, but I can't put it... I have a grappling hook, right? Yeah, I've got grappling hooks, so I can't do it from here. God 
hundreds of men. Was it you who moved the island? Help, brothers! Sorcerers! They can move whole islands! He just totally did like a oh, 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 so freaked out, don't know where to go. Oh. Okay. Boop. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Oh no! I'm out of trial squeezes. That's fine. We'll make it work. Passing through. Do -si -do. I... What should uh, I do? Does that work? Tell me. Nope. Let's do this first. You're as weak as ten. Yeah? Speak is not uncommon. Oh, this guy's got seven armor. Fine. Mm. <laughs> ah. Break their concentration. Nope. Oh, chef guy. Break Good vibes to you, buddy. Bones. Good vibes to you, buddy. Get out of my... Bam! Beautiful. Now we just gotta take out this guy. Good morning, makes sense. Stand aside! All out assault works on every attack now? Oh, damn. And that ability was strong before. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> that's dangerous. Oh, my lord. Open Heidi bag. Oh, damn, son. Coco the Stabby is wearing... Oh, he's wearing officer's helmets now. That's right. He doesn't have... Uh... We moved past Barbarian, didn't we? Yep. And he's the only one that can wear it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting place. This is where we came in. See if we can fill in the whole map here. Mm -hmm. Why are the puzzles in this game so impressive? First time tuning into the game. Uh, the thing I really like about the puzzles in this game is they're they're very unique. So and they've and they've been a very large variety of puzzles. So there's been like text puzzles, word puzzles, uh, push block puzzles, um, just just tons and tons of different variety of types. We do see a few kind of repeating, but. There's been like entire dungeons that have unique puzzles. Like one of one of my favorites so far has been uh, there was this dungeon that had this almost like uh, um, what's the best way to say it? There'd be like an energy source, and then all these different panels that you'd have to turn. And some panels did certain things, and some were ands, and some were ors, and some were curved, and you'd have to like follow the energy trails back and unlock these different things. It's 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 just it's been fun. It's been it's been really fun. And most of the puzzles are the kind of thing where you have to like look at them for a little bit and be like, what am I doing? And then you kind of have to play with it a little bit and then you're like, oh, okay, I see what I need to do. And then you kind of work your way through it. 
So, have I been to the Dwarven Mine? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. All right, so this is Ko. We are working on his strength right now. I don't think we have too much else we're working on him with. Um, <laughs> enthusiastic digger, and it's a guy. It's a picture of a guy picking his nose. <laughs> Ew. Uh, yeah, we'll do more strength. 